Seven lessons fractional executives can learn from the NFL. What you can learn from the NFL's approach to winning. Welcome to Fractionals Unplugged, an insider's perspective vodcast and podcast from Maven. You've left the corporate executive world to build your own business to secure your income, savor your independence, and succeed on your terms. But you have to get past the struggles of acquiring clients, building a pipeline, and getting paid what you're worth. In this podcast, Jay Kingley, the CEO of Maven, and his guests share their best practices, tips, and tricks on how you can get out of Struggle City and into Success City and beyond. Enjoy today's episode. I'm Jay Kingley, the CEO and co-founder of Maven. Only 0.023% of high school footballers make it to the NFL. Competition is fierce when there are only 1,696 roster spots, plus an additional 512 practice squad spots available. Of these, only 30 players are selected as all pro, and every year, a maximum of only eight players, five modern era and three seniors, can be elected to the Hall of Fame. It's the definition of our Darwinian environment where only the best of the best make it, and only an infinitesimal number reach the pinnacle of their profession. Being blessed with genetic gifts of having extraordinary athletic abilities is necessary, but far from sufficient. Being willing to work hard goes without saying, but that isn't enough. Staying healthy is table stakes. As head coach Mike Tomlin of my Pittsburgh Steelers is fond of saying, the best ability is availability. To become a winner, an NFL team follows a process designed to get the best out of the best on a continuous, predictable basis. If one team has a process that gets 0.1% better performance, all else the same, compared to their competitors, they will win more often than not. In the NFL, Innovation is constant, but the advantage is fleeting. In no time, every other team will copy what works best. They don't call the NFL a copycat league for nothing. Win the Super Bowl, and everybody can take credit for contributing, and there is still credit left over. Lose, and the fingers of blame come out, despite your team finishing in the top 6% of the league. Losing means loser. To reach your potential, here are seven lessons fractional executives can learn from top NFL teams and players who achieve success. Number one, repetition, learn, improve, and repeat relentlessly. Every season, 90 players are invited to each team's training camp, but only 53 will make the team with another 16 signed to the practice squad. Every participant will tell you the most important thing they need to do is to earn reps. You can only make the team if you get a rep, learn, improve, and repeat this cycle as many times as you are able. Your takeaway? Each interaction with a prospect or a valuable member of your network is a rep. Take time after each engagement to reflect on what you've learned and what you're going to do next time to be better. Repeat this relentlessly. Two, practice before you play. The NFL season consists of a series of steps designed to create the best team performing to its full potential. Key phases and their objectives include OTAs and minicamps, where they install the playbook, develop team chemistry, improve individual skills, and allow coaches to evaluate the roster. Training camp, improve conditioning, practice intensively, determine who makes the team and who the starters will be. Preseason exhibition season. Preseason exhibitions simulate real game conditions and evaluate player performance in live action scenarios. Regular season. Win to earn a spot in the playoffs. Playoffs. Get to and win the Super Bowl to claim the ultimate prize of being the best of the best. Your takeaway? Implement a rigorous process 
to expeditiously and effectively accomplish the concept of repetition, learn, improve, and repeat to reach your full potential as a fractional executive. Maven uses this approach to increase the conversion rate of prospects to clients from a starting point, typically of 10 to 20%, to an elite level of 80%. Lay out your buying process step-by-step and practice it on your own. This is your OTAs and mini camps. Role play with others, that is coaches and colleagues, to get better. This is your training camp. Meet prospects at the fringe of your target market and practice in real sales situations. If the meeting is virtual, record it and review it with your coach to improve. You're focused on improvement, not on conversion. This is your exhibition season. Get in front of your ICPs, that is your ideal client profiles, and convert them to clients. Develop specific strategies for each prospect. Continue call reviews to get better. This is your regular season. Fine-tune your buying process to capitalize on your intellectual property and the authenticity of your personality. This is your playoffs. Number three, performance metrics and accountability. NFL players and teams are constantly measured against performance metrics. You can't manage what you don't measure, and the numbers don't lie. Your takeaway? Measure your performance for each step of your marketing and buying funnels. Maven creates performance dashboards for our clients' go-to-market and buying process and reviews the results in detail every month. You will maximize your rate of improvement by taking responsibility for your results. Point the finger back at yourself and ask what you could have done to get a better result. Four, focus. NFL players often specialize in specific roles and positions, becoming experts in their areas. There are no all pros who are generalists. Teams draft, sign, and trade players based on the particular position focus they have. The best of the best focus on becoming elite at a specific position and role. Being a jack of all trades does not put you on the path to success. Your takeaway? Don't approach your business with a mindset of scarcity. Scarcity causes you to obsess about leaving any possible opportunity on the table. You won't get hired if you aren't differentiated from others who do what you do. Relentless focus allows you to develop your insight into your ICPs and establish authority in your area of specialization. The more you focus, the higher your value, the higher the price you will command, and the stronger your pipeline will become. Five, strategic game planning. NFL teams spend countless hours analyzing opponents and developing game plans. The margin between winning and losing often comes down to one play made or missed. Planning your preparation is often the difference. Your takeaway? So many fractional executives invest significant time in their go-to-market to to arrange meetings with prospects and then just show up and wing it during the meeting. When you are marketing, you are talking to an avatar that represents your ICP. But sales is a series of one-to-one conversations with a specific ICP who is a unique person with business issues and challenges that they often believe are uncommon. You will only achieve an 80% conversion rate when you take the time to research in depth each opportunity you have and create an engagement plan unique to that prospect. One size does not fit all. Six, your coaches, trainers, and team are difference makers. Great coaches are essential to take someone with the best genetics and work ethic and make them elite. Each player has to focus on how to execute each play required to win at their position. Because the difference between winning and losing is tiny, each player has trainers and coaches who work one-on-one with them to drive improvement. 
The players are then put into small groups to work with position coaches to coordinate the activities of those with common objectives. At the next level up, there is a coordinator, offense, defense, and special teams, who orchestrates how the entire unit comes together to achieve their game plan in every contest. Finally, the head coach manages the team's on-field performance, and the general manager focuses on assembling the right collection of players subject to the constraints of budget and time. In the NFL, every team is working with the same budget, but some teams win year after year, and some teams make a habit out of losing. The caliber of coaching is the difference between making the playoffs and picking first in the draft. Your takeaway? Being a solo fractional executive or consultant is a team sport. Being great at what you do requires you to focus on details and nuance. In other words, the magic of your delivery occurs in your trees and weeds. While you might be able to see the forest for your clients, you are not capable of seeing your own. In 1546, John Haywood, the English playwright and author, coined the expression, you cannot see the forest for your trees. To be successful, you need a team of coaches to help you create a successful business while you work the magic of your delivery. Business development, tax and accounting, IT, and legal are among the areas that every successful fractional executive works with others to help them achieve their full potential. And number seven, resilience and mental toughness. The NFL is a highly competitive and pressure-filled environment. Players must be mentally tough and resilient. Even elite NFL players don't win the majority of the plays. P.J. Watt, the all-pro edge rusher for the Pittsburgh Steelers, led the NFL in quarterback sacks with 19 for the 2023 season. That works out to 1.12 sacks per game played. He achieved a sack on only 2% of the snaps he played. He is a former Defensive Player of the Year and perennial All-Pro. Yet, he missed 12.8% of the tackles he should have made and only had a quarterback pressure measured as sacks, hurries, and knockdowns on 5.4% of his plays. Being elite doesn't mean you win all the time. It means you win when you're supposed to win at a level matching your potential. Your takeaway? You won't close every prospect that you want. You won't retain every client you'd like. You won't always get paid at a rate you think reflects your true value. You will have slow periods. You will struggle more than you would like at least some of the time. The challenge for you is when life kicks you in the teeth to get up off the ground, learn, improve, and do it again. You will need resilience, grit, and determination to reach your full potential as a fractional executive. You need to get up each and every day and say, bring it, because this time you will win. You don't have to love football to learn from it. Every industry or position that is Darwinian uses the same process as the NFL because it works. The only thing that changes in sports entertainment or business is the nomenclature. The process is the same process because the goal is to be the best you are capable of being. If you want results, follow the process. You've spent the last 25 or more years working your way up the corporate ladder, achieving success and reward along the way. Whether corporate kicked you to the curb or you walked out the door of your own volition, there is no going back. You're nowhere close to retiring, so you're moving on to your second act as a fractional executive. You're feeling the thrill of freedom mixed with the dread of the unknown. You're not alone. Maven works with the elite 20%, turning the top fractional executives' aspirations into reality easily and quickly. Imagine the right clients needing your genius, chasing you to get it, and happy to pay you for the impact you make. Maven helps you build all aspects of your business to fund your lifestyle without having to work corporate hours. 
With Maven, market yourself easily, select your clients with purpose, and build a business that leverages your genius on your terms, not on someone else's. Reach out to Jay at j.kingly at referabilitymaven.com. Transform your expertise into a prosperous business where you'll make the impact you want with all the freedom, flexibility, and control that you've earned.